Hello and welcome. If you're new here, my name is Tori uh, and I'm a Genshin Impact streamer. And today we're going to be doing Shan Yun's story quests. I'm a little bit late. You know, it came out a week ago. I was not home at the time, so we're doing it now. I'm very excited. I've heard great things. I've heard great things. I heard it's good. I heard it's, you know, very, people seem to like it. They, it makes them like, you know, Shan Yun more. However, I've also heard that it's very sad. And if you don't know me, I am a very emotional person. I actually cried the other day watching a music video. It was, I used new music video with V from BTS. And I literally cried watching a three minute long YouTube video. So I don't know how I'm gonna fare. Um against this but it's okay we're gonna experience it together if i cry i cry i think it's okay big girls do in fact cry um so we got this we're, we're in it together whatever happens <laughs> i am excited though because i i really do think when things have like an emotional impact on you that means you know that, well not always that they're good but i think it can mean that they're good yeah skyward scatter Whee. Perfect landing, look at that. Right outside her place. Knock knock. Let us in. Do remember the first time we came here? We even brought offerings and everything. I that when seems like so that long ago. Been assassinated, she immediately threatened to squash Liyue Harbor. My mom thought she'd be a What an icon. Get along with. She's such an icon. I love her. Spend some more time together. She's really not like that at all. We probably don't need to bring any offerings now that we've gotten to know her pretty well, right? Mm, still, Paimon's got some snacks around here somewhere, so if she really wants something, we could just use that. We could bring uh -huh. her some popcorn. She does Traveler. love popcorn. Did something catch your eye? All right, I guess this is our first time really seeing her in her human form. I keep forgetting. Starry, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Whoa, what a pretty lady. I know that's right. <laughs> Oh, you're right. All it takes is one look. Oh, look at all the little animals. She's like Snow White. Special. All the little animal friends just following her along. Bird lady, really? She must have a whole bunch of adept eye friends from all over the country. Okay, but if True. we're both friends of Cloud Retainer, then we're basically friends by association, right? Want to go up to her and say hello? I mean, I must introduce myself to the pretty lady, right? Oh, Come on. You may more connections is a part of Paimon's job as your reliable guide. Paimon's got this. <laughs> um, hello. Okay, wingman. She said, <laughs> hi. <laughs> like, um, okay. Paimon is Paimon. And this is the traveler. <laughs> I mean, she kind of ate up that introduction. I'm not going to lie. And this is the traveler. <laughs> It reminds me of that one um, TikTok clip where it's like, I have purse? Like, that's what she sounds like. <laughs> Backwards, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to stream. How are you? <laughs> um, Paimon doesn't think we've met, but we're also friends of Cloud Retainer. May we have the pleasure of learning your name, Madam Adeptus? Madam Adeptus? I kind of like too... that. Oh, she's about to call stupid. Has a shift in form so clouded your eyes that you no longer recognize one anymore? Wait, you're... Mom? No. Huh? You're the illuminated bird? But you look... human! <laughs> How did that happen? Oh, donning human form is scarcely any test of one's abilities. As for your confusion, one merely had no reason to indulge such inclinations before. I forgot she always referred to herself as one. I never you're liked that. Well, one has made plans to pay a visit to some disciples at Liyue Harbor. Taking on a human form for such a trip is simply a way to make matters less conspicuous. You? Worrying about keeping a low profile? You're the one who likes to pop up out of nowhere all over the place. In fact, Paimon can think of several examples. Like last year, when you suddenly appeared on the top of a roof without a warning. Paimon's digging or... into her, Paimon. You better relax. <clears throat> Didn't we agree not to bring that up unless she asked? Girl, you were running your mouth. Oh. You gotta give her the snacks now. So you have taken care to follow the proper rules of etiquette after all. Most commendable. Thank you. Her lipstick is so cute. Got back um, to Genshin. Well, 
How are you liking it? Have you gone to Fontaine yet, then, since you took a long break? One has never found oneself lacking in basic comforts. On the contrary, it is the gesture that one values above all else. So long as you've shown proper respect and consideration, the quantity or quality of the gift is but a trivial matter. That's true. That kind of makes Paimon feel a little guilty for trying to keep them for herself. Anyway, where were we before you reminded Paimon about the gifts? She's probably going to visit Miss Ganyu and or Miss Shenha. Disciples, you must mean Ganyu and Shenha. It's also been a while since we last saw them. Maybe we can come too. Girls trip. One plan to extend the invitation even if you had not raised the matter yourself. Shenha and Ganyu should be quite pleased to see you again. However, one would first inquire as to the reason behind your Wait, she kind of has the same bang as me, look. Cause to seek this <gasps> company? Mother? Bang? Look, look see. Yeah, we just found ourselves missing you and wanted to see how you were doing. Oh, we wait, were that's really sweet. All right, Darcy. Who knew we'd run into your human form while we were at it? Hmm, is that so? If there are no urgent matters at hand, then let us make haste for Liyue Harbor. Ganyu is likely still working at Yue High Pavilion, so that shall be our first stop. Sounds great! Then let's all go to Liyue Harbor! Yay! Come on, gang. Let's go. Girls trip. Woo! A thousand moonlit miles. It's a beautiful <sighs> little oh. Ganyu has been quite busy with work as of late. One can count on one talon the number of times she returns to Mount One Talon. Here. Just this. Shenhe has also secured employment recently. In her correspondence with me, she wrote that she shall have no need to return for the foreseeable future. Blunt as ever, Shenhe. Gotta <laughs> appreciate it. Did they think one was so easily mollified? One shall investigate everything with one's own eyes and decide for oneself if their living conditions are satisfactory. Thank you, ma'am. Anything else? Hmm. We'll get a picture. Pretty, and you can see that. Oh, <laughs> and coming! It's like airstrikes. It literally airstrikes. Get it? Animal. I'm assuming they've seen it if she uses it to visit them. Where did she go? She abandoned us. Quietly now. One <laughs> shall stay here. You two can go and meet with her. She's stalking. Uh, but why? Isn't it better if we all go together? Hmm. If one were to proudly proclaim one's presence, Ganyu would surely profess herself otherwise unoccupied and drop everything to attend to one's visit. One fears that would only result in her staying up all night to make up for lost time. One does not wish to trouble her. Conversing vicariously via you two shall suffice. Do remember to inquire as to her <laughs> She's so funny. Being. Again, do not mention one's presence here. Fair enough. Makes sense. All right, then. We'll just pass on your regards and... Cloud retainer? Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. She you said... Who? She's <laughs> that lady, someone you know, Miss Ganyu. She went. She is indeed. I'm sorry, Huishi, <laughs> but can we delay the upcoming meeting for a little bit? I believe my schedule today is quite full. Although, perhaps I could move some work to later in the evening. Nee, I'd love oh, to do that for you. Don't worry, Miss Ganyu. But just let me know I'll in the Discord. Necessary arrangements right away. Thank you, Huishin. I like how how well she knows her though. She's like, oh, she's gonna you know move all her stuff to nighttime, while, and immediately Nancy. it was, you know. Look at her, she's still not looking. Greetings. She's still not looking. What brings you petulant? Here and cloud retainer too. It's been quite some time since I last <laughs> saw you in this form. 
She's you so funny. Are quite mistaken. One is not acquainted with this cloud retainer of whom you speak. One is simply a mere mortal passerby. Ah. Uh. Huh? Well, yes, of course, she guys. Not buying it. How could we be so foolish? Obviously. Um, that was but a simple test. One did not expect you to be able to recognize one so easily. Me when I'm a mere mortal so passerby, like only girl. One's other form. This guy's failed. Zero stealth. Absolutely none. Can you spend it? Recognizing you is uh my responsibility as your disciple. It's because she loves you. <laughs> An apt observation. One was simply passing by while attending to some important business. One thought it would only be fitting to pay you a visit while in the area. Wait, Paimon wasn't aware of any important. Paimon, shut the hell up! Uh, Damn! Right. Just blowing up we're everybody's spot. Talking. That's crazy. Super important to do, so we can't stay here for too long today. <laughs> oh, is that so? But it's been so long since we last saw each other. Oh, she looks sad. One simply desired to see you and had no intention of interrupting your work. A quick conversation should suffice for today. A more involved reunion should wait until you find yourself less occupied. I she understand. wants to spend quality time. She's so fine. sweet. While one acknowledges the amount of work that you have to deal with every day, one must also remind you to rest. Though Adepti blood flows through your veins, excessive exhaustion will still cause grave harm to your body. Ah, <sighs> it still makes one nostalgic to see you as you are now, respected and independent. When you were young, you oft begged one to cuddle you to sleep when you suffered from nightmares. Oh, <laughs> Cloud Retainer, stop! <laughs> That's you sweet. Insist. She's so cute. You are running short on time regardless. So one will refrain from going into each and every story. Why don't you continue your conversation? One shall simply stand by and listen. What? Wow, you've been to so many new places since the last time we spoke. If you ever need anything, please just come find me at UA High Pavilion. Also, forgive me for my presumptuousness, Cloud Retainer. But if you plan to continue appearing in this form, don't you think it'd be helpful to adopt a human name? Oh, is a this where she gets the name from? Huh. You raise a valid point. Considering the sheer extent of one's renown, Cloud Retainer is surely too recognizable as a name. One, yeah, really? I, I would say so. I, not that you're not famous or anything. I mean, in leeway, I would say so. You no. To know the extent of one's illustrious I think so. Yeah, that's what I was one thinking would too. Think such a thing to be possible. <sighs> Nevertheless, Ganyu's advice cannot Assumed be ignored. That is what she seems From like. From this point on, when in public occasions, be sure to refer to one as Shenyun. Shen? Shenyun, not Shanyun. Hmm. Ah, I assume that's a reference to the full record of Pristine Pavilion. An adeptus of years past would rise with the clouds and rest with the moon. They were enlightened and wise, free and unfettered. The writer referenced Master's name to describe her carefree and spontaneous nature. Hmm. Oh, that sounds super cool! Paimon feels like only the most powerful of adepti could rise with the clouds and rest with the moon. Actually, those lines were originally written to describe Cloud Retainer herself. I know that's right! <laughs> Wait, so you're really that powerful? Paimon. Someone needs to squash Paimon and like the bug that she it. is. Did you truly take one to be nothing more than a bird of bigger than average size? <laughs> Not exactly. To be fair, Cloud Retainer rarely speaks of her past accomplishments. The tales of her past can only be found in ancient texts. It is said that once, a long, long time ago, there was a severe drought in Liyue. The chat is a left little bit. Left with no choice. There we go. Many people left their homes. 
while others spent day and night praying to the adept. I'm just I don't mind Paimon that much. I'm being a little bit tragedy. hyperbolic, but simply reading about it is enough to gain a visceral She's just a little bit annoying. Of all the but hello, how are you? Welcome. During that time, on top of the drought, Hi kids, how are you? gas also began to spread through the land. If not for cloud retainers' efforts, much of Liyue would be nothing She's a little more irritating. than a barren wasteland today. The books had this to say about what happened. Upon arrival, the Adeptus borrowed the wind to retain the clouds. Wow, I wonder where her name came from. The clouds gathered together, an abundant Sorry. rain burst forth from the heavens. Drought and plague were both driven away, and the people were saved. Wow, that's incredible! Mortal records add embellishments to dramatize past events. One did merely what one ought. And even if one had not interceded, the other adept I would surely have stepped in to help. Even so, you stopped an entire drought! Can you really control the weather like the book said? Hell yeah. Oh, and she's an engineer. A lot more respect for you. So, mechanic. Uh, so it was Paimon's bad for calling you Illuminated Bird before. You're not too mad, are you? <laughs> How laughable. A name is but a simple label we carry with us on our journey through the world. Why would one be offended by such a trivial matter? <laughs> she does seem like the type that she would be offended by that, in though. In that case, Paima will continue to call you whatever feels right in the moment. Well, that is quite enough ancient history for now. Ganyu, have you had word from Shenhe? One has heard that she procured a job recently. Have you any thoughts on her workplace? And what, pray tell, of her monthly remuneration? Moreover, does she find herself overly inundated with work? Is she allowed time off during Lantern Rite? That is a lot of questions. She's literally a mother. She's so cute. There is no cause Hi, for concern, you? Cloud Retainer. I introduced Shenha to her employer personally. Wanmin Restaurant's business has been booming recently. So with Chef Mao being swapped She's customer, working at Wanmin Restaurant? Tell me she's a waitress, I'll die. I introduced Shenha to staff the restaurant. I oh, she's an icon. Most excellent indeed. One has had the pleasure of being introduced to that family. Xiangling is kind and astute, while her father is loyal and reliable. One has no cause to believe that they will make Shenha's work difficult. <sighs> now, I don't know, being a waitress working at restaurants is stressful. One shall visit Wanmin restaurant in person and see how Shenhe is it's doing. It's gonna be like that one thing of Patrick and huh? Spongebob where he goes, but May I take your hat, you sir? Say that you have something Shenhe. important to do? Uh, can that wait until after we've eaten? You may return to your work on you. One shall see to this matter on one's own. There will be many an occasion to dine together in the future. One is certain the opportunity shall present itself most readily. Of course, Cloud Retainer. Please take care. Traveler, Paimon, I'll see you some other time. Bye, girly. See you around, Ganyu. <laughs> Paimon was pretty quick on to the fat uptake, McDonald's. Though, don't you think? As soon as you mentioned important business to attend to, Paimon realized that you were just looking to cut the conversation short and not take too much of Ganyu's time. Is Paimon right? Paimon, you are so smart. No. In fact, it was not an excuse. One is indeed visiting Liyue Harbor for an important purpose. Oh shit, sorry, cat. Wait, for real? The moment is not yet upon us. Still, the truth will be revealed to you in time. Huh. She really seems to be playing up the whole mysterious Adeptus thing right now. Is it because we just heard that cool story about her powers? Listen. May I take your hat, sir? I know that's right! Hey, girl! You get what I'm saying, right? Yeah, how can I not? Not even fine food is enough to distract from the presence of a fine lady. Get away huh? from her! Oh, perv! I'm far more interested in getting her details than ordering any dishes. Hey, how about you ask her? Hey, you leave her you alone. do it. No, no, no. I think you should. Wait, she's coming. May I take your hat, sir? What can I get for you Dr. Yushu is very good, yes. Uh, He's very good. Miss, uh, I was just wondering uh, if you'd be willing to... Uh... What would you like to order? <laughs> <laughs> She's so... Uh, 
two servings of more meat to go. Oh, good chat. Bye. I thought you said goodbye, chat. I was like a streamer. What? Oh, uh, you get some primos, some stuff like that. Sana! Probably some more, uh, some fates. I don't know. Welcome. It's been a while. May I take your order? <laughs> Stop. Guess and greet us as old friends in the same line. It's weird. Stop. She's still figuring out how to show emotion. Mm -hmm. Oh, and this is? Uh, this is Miss Shinyun. Master? Huh? Huh. One does not recall ever revealing this form to you before. How were you able to ascertain one's true identity with such ease? She's I've a vibe. I've and lived with Master for more than ten years. I would recognize you no matter what form you take. <laughs> That's so cute. Mm. Aww. Oh, why is, is she that sad? The matter, Master? Th Hardly. That was sweet. Don't be Hardly. sad. One simply learned of your employment from your letter and came to check on your well-being. And check out the great food, too. Indeed. It's almost lunchtime. My apologies. I'm still on the clock and can't talk for very long. <laughs> well, if it isn't the Traveler and Paimon... Are you here for Shenha? Hi, sir. The rush isn't in yet, Shenha. So I've got things covered for now. Go ahead, sit down and enjoy some time with your friends. I'll let you know if things pick up. Wow. Thank you, Chef Mao. What a good boss. <laughs> yes, this is Shen Yun's character quest. Story quest. Not the event. I haven't started the Leeway event yet. Uh... Or the lantern rain event? I'm sorry, uh, lantern rain event. I will soon though. <gasps> no way we get to eat a cheap and tasty chop sitway! That's awesome. I love her. Yeah. Cheap and tasty chop sitway. I love her. What an icon. I'm bitter? What am I bitter? <sighs> it is just as one expected. The owner of Wanmin Restaurant is indeed a most reasonable and accommodating boss. human. Still, the work here entails dealing with quite a varied group of people. Has this been difficult for you, Shenhe? <laughs> Darcy's so making far. fun of me for my work I trauma. Uh oh. <laughs> but I have figured out a way to deal with them. Seems like you've been making progress. So by dealing with them, you mean. First, She's gonna I kill people? To talk sense into them. Oh. If that doesn't work, I threaten them with violence. Yes! At this point, they usually decide they are in favor of a civil conversation. I know that's right. That's my queen. I love her. How should Paimon put this? That sounds reasonable enough. Oh, a sensible plan. One <laughs> is gladdened to see you integrate so well into human society. This is where she gets this behavior you from. Master, you see her encouraging this? Been? Not that I'm any better, but still. Simply marvelous. Though Mount Outsong has scarcely enjoyed your presence recently, Aww. one has hardly found the pleasure of one's own company to be lacking. I see. Oh, just as expected of Master. I bet she's lying. She's lonely. <laughs> oh, look, <laughs> look at her eyebrows. She said. <laughs> she really. I'm sorry. She really said. <laughs> Like, she, she humphed. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There we go. Hold, hold. Ready? <laughs> she misses you guys. She does. I have Master quite a bit, too. Even though work has been busy lately, I've already had a conversation with Chef Mao about taking some time off soon to visit Master. Oh, you did? <laughs> <clears throat> Do make note of such matters in your letters in the future. She's stern. There's hardly a need to keep one in suspense. Whoa. Her mood shot up just like that. By She's way, lonely and she misses her children. She misses her girls. Have you had the chance to visit Ganyu? Uh, indeed. She use the poster with them. Darcy! <laughs> work. Ryu, thank you for the follow. Welcome. How are you? A few simple pleasantries. Ganyu told us the story of Cloud Retainer's name. It was amazing. We never knew how powerful she was before. An icon, a leeway icon. I see. 
In that case, allow me to also share a story about Master's past. Uh-oh. Oh? oh? Is that a problem, Master? I believe this to be a good topic of conversation. No, not a problem. One was simply caught off guard. But no matter, please, proceed. One is most curious to see how much of one's own conversational prowess you possess. Master once participated oh, wow. in a race against Mooncarver. After Mooncarver lost, he insisted that Master's ability oh to my God. gave her a natural edge. Mooncarver in and the other one. I wonder in if they'll response, also be like Master agreed to forego flying playable. In for being able to use Every lantern right, they just add a new adeptus. <laughs> Mooncarver accepted. Only to find Master with a brand new device on the day of the contest. Huh. What kind of device? Power trio it? real. It ladies of leeway. Vehicle made out of iron. The ladies of leeway. What was it called again? Oh, an electro-powered bicycle? Oh, you refer up. to the bicyclical Thunder Flashmobile. One spent 49 days conceptualizing and crafting it. It need only be infused with adeptal energy, and it can cover thousands of miles in one day. An icon, Ooh, look at her. It boggles the mind why Mooncarver ever supposed he might best me in a contest of locomotion. Though he sprinted with all his might, he could barely keep up. <sighs> Alas, the one flaw of my mechanism lay in its weakness against mountainous terrain. One was thwarted mere seconds from victory, when it was thrown off course and failed to make it across the final stretch. Truly a most unfortunate turn of events. Anyway, do go on, Shen. E-bike. Master. Electronic that bike. That was the end of that story. Oh. Is that so? Huh. With you gone, one has seldom felt the desire to call upon those old fossils for another contest. What is a race without spectators, after all? Ooh, she has Have a point. Have been lonely, Master? Lonely? What is my phone? <laughs> At one's age, entire human generations come and go in the blink of an eye. Even one's own self-directed musings can span several days and nights. It's a most foreign sentiment. The mere mention of it is preposterous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she said, mm hmm. What is the reason for that look upon your face? Oh, nothing, nothing. I didn't say anything. Nothing. It's I'm about to get nothing. in trouble. It's just. <laughs> well, Paimon gained a lot of respect for you after listening to that story of you summoning the rain and everything. But all it took was a few words out of your mouth, and it's like you're back to being that illuminated bird again. Oh, wow. That's, That's bold. Confused. Which one of the two is the real cloud retainer? To me. Why not both? They are both, Master. Yeah, what? One is the Master that's widely revered by the cold. people. I mean, socks. While the other is the Master that I respect and adore. Huh. One finds oneself exalted yet again with sweet words of praise and flattery of a most extravagant nature. You chose to exalt one with your words, yet you refused yes. to grace Mount Outsong with your presence for this any extended period of time. Oh. One would almost Shen question in trouble. the sincerity of your estimations. Oh. Shen has in trouble! This is not to say that your words paint an inaccurate picture. One has always lived by a single ideal. Eschew all action and abide by no rule. One does as one pleases and speaks as one pleases. Others may critique or praise as they see fit. Yet one hurts. places little weight in such judgments. She got like <sighs> two sentences of flattery from her disciple, and it's as if her ego is about to burst. Paimon! Do you have any empty tables? Could we get another fish stew? Uh oh, it's picking up, y'all. I'm hearing more guests come in. I should get back to work. All right, good luck with the lunchtime rush, Shen, huh? Mm hmm. I'll try my best. One is fond of all kinds of delicacies and delights in a multitude of flavors. The dishes her nails are so no shortage. Oh my god, she's so cool. 
Their the nails like that? They're like actual talons. More than I was about to say, normally no one's in here fact, to get cheap and tasty chop suey, but everyone's here. Fit of inspiration. One has already begun to conceptualize the next generation of supreme cuisine machines. It's just talons. Everything's it's sick. Everything's so tasty. A bit too hot at times, but still super tasty. I'm sorry, miss, but our tables are full. Shall we try somewhere else, Granny? Shall? But it smells How posh. so delightful. Can we really not eat here? My poor legs can't go on for much longer. Grandma. Well, you could always check with some of the other guests and see if anyone's happy to share a table. Okay. I guess it's gonna be I'll us. It's unfortunate. Hi, Aspid. What's up? Excuse me. Would you mind letting us share a table with you? There are no empty tables left, so... Oh, her clip well, is cool. Mind. What about you Grannies. Guys? Great. Thanks so much. My name is Shuyu, and this is my granny, Yuendai. Granny? What do you mean? Uh, yep. Is there something wrong with that? No, no. Behind just a bit surprised. She looks so young. Are we on crack? <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. A lot of people compliment Granny on her youthful looks, but she's actually much older than she appears. <sighs> Granny, why don't you take a seat? Nurse, she got out. Polite to stare. Nurse. <laughs> oh, have we met before? No. Anticipated meeting, then. Please, take a seat. What would you like to eat, Granny? I can order for you. I want... braised earthworms. They always pop up out of the ground after a rainstorm. <sighs> no, no, not this again. Granny, there's no braised earthworms on the menu. Oh, do you think Cloud Retainer eats earthworms? earthworms? Well, that sounds weird. Do people actually eat that? Because, you know, like, birds like worms, right? Mm. Right, that's what Paimon I wonder what a worm too. tastes like. I feel like the texture might freak me uh, out. Need any help? You know, like, help? the texture, I feel oh, like, would freak me out. Granny? I think that's all thing, because, like, people eat insects, and apparently they, they taste good, like little snacks, about, but I think the texture might granny scare me. That's the only so reason I don't, I don't know if I would. All the time. She's always saying things that sound kind of confusing. Actually, her memory's been bad ever since I was little. But it's gotten so bad lately that I even have to remind her who I am every morning. Ooh. They died young. It's just me and Granny now. Damn. Oh, um. Uh, but it's okay. Don't feel bad. Granny loves me a lot, and I love her a lot too. Oh, the little <laughs> smudge she was says. But you just That's so make the cute. Life you've got. <laughs> oh, no, it's so cute. Yeah, really the way her eyes were. That was adorable. Kid? <laughs> You're too her clip, by the way, is so very like cloud and retainer me. coded. They definitely oh, knew each other when she me. was younger, right? You're tough too, Granny. Plus, you're really gentle. What you're insects have you had? I imagine they're just like little yes. crunchy snacks. And it's hardly like as chips. if I forget everything. I still remember the important things. Uh... But I just don't know, like Wait, what was worms. I don't think I could do. Probably like a, a cricket. Then. I could do. <laughs> I remember now. It was a dream. I had a dream where everything was dark. Someone was standing in front of me. Uh, iced coffee. I'm she having an iced Americano since the ice melted, so it's just... Her. And that it's still cold, though. I'd found her, I would be free. Huh? Yummy. That sounds super Decaf, because it's late. Don't worry. But how come you've never told me about it before? It was just a dream, so I forgot about it. But I, I wonder who that lady was who told her to come find her. I remembered it again. Ah, oh, <laughs> you know, I believe I've had this dream a great many times. But just how many times have I had it? Now that I do not remember. Wait, so you have a reoccurring dream where someone's talking to you? That sounds spooky. <gasps> Does that mean you're possessed? Girl. 
We had grasshoppers in Oaxaca. Unlikely. They're covered in chili powder. Her eyes are clear and her Start breathing with... remains calm and level. Guacamole and tortillas. Okay. No that sounds... I would probably... I would eat that. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. Who do you take I'll try for? everything once. Is one not an adept? Oh. Hmm. Am I not an expert? Real. Oh, I just kicked my... You're right. Paimon almost forgot you're the expert. In that case... Do you still remember what the person is? She's about to point to send you and be like, a bird! <laughs> Not anymore. Although, I have a sense that she looked rather like me. But not as I am now. My younger self. Mm. <laughs> a younger version of Granny? This is just getting weirder and weirder. What is going on here? As one said, Fate must have brought us together. You may leave this situation to me. Are you sure? Um, so, what are your names? Paimon's Paimon. Paimon is Paimon. Real and true. Just Shen Yun is fine. Thank you all so much for offering to help. But first, I'm sorry for asking, but, um, how do you want us to pay you back? Oh, we don't need any payment for this. Aw, Lamina's so pretty. Look how cute she is. Just a cutie patootie, enjoying her dumplings that are bigger than her head. Thank you so much. I don't You're know. Welcome. I'm worried about the texture. Oh, you you know what it is? What exactly can we do to help out this granny? Brief intermission. The thing is, when I was in Louisiana and I tried alligator for the first time or crocodile, whatever one it was, I did like the texture. It was kind of rubbery. And for the first time in my life... I was like, I almost felt nauseous from a texture of a food. That's never happened to me before. Yes, exactly. So I don't know if I could do that. That's what I'm worried about with worms. Because I imagine in my head, worms would have the same texture like that. Or something similar. Either that or they'd be like soft. So I don't know if I could handle that. All we have to go off is that I'm sure it would taste fine Where as long as you that? season it. I mean, I think anything would really at the end of the day. That but I don't know. True. That might Since her dreams portray get me her good. younger self. Then we shall retrace the steps of her youth. Once we have revisited those places, her memories will likely return. She's a genius. Hmm. Sounds like a plan. That's true. So, Granny, do you remember which places you went to when you were young? Actually, you gotta try everything. Of course you gotta I eat do. everything at least once. Because if somebody above, makes it, it means it's good, maybe, below. to someone. So. The wispy clouds and the emerald mountain streams. Okay, taking that as a no. I that was very an idea. Once when I was really little, my dad told me that Granny used to be a martial artist heroine who saved loads of people from a disaster. Oh, should I move the chat box? Is it in the way? I mean, do you guys really care about the subtitles or no? If it's true, then maybe they wrote about it in the history books or something. Oh, excuse me, Valdig. A <sighs> martial arts heroine? Hmm. Oh, Shinjo knows tons about Liwa's chivalric traditions. If anyone knows about the heroes of the past, it's him. Let's go find him at the Feiyun Commerce Guild. Are you leaving already? But I'm still hungry. I'm actually so afraid it. that if my quest... If we have to go find Ching Show, I'm scared that it's, he's going to be it. stuck in Chingsa Village. Seems we must part ways for now. <gasps> oh! The Traveler and Paimon are bound for the Feiyun Commerce Guild, while Yuan Dai and Shu Yu shall remain here and partake of their lunch. As for myself, I have matters to discuss with Streetward Rambler. Streetward Rambler? Hello! Welcome! Because I Claire. Very punny. I love it. How are you? Welcome uh, to my stream. Thank you so much for waiting. Uh, if you guys are new here, my name is Tori. I'm a Genshin streamer. Uh, I'm a, a Xiaomi and I also play Star Rail sometimes. Very nice to meet you. <gasps> really? Girl, I got you C1. Big fan. How are you? How's your stream? We're doing your quest, I guess, uh, to anyone from coming from uh, Claire's stream. Spoiler warning. We, we're we not too far. Oh, we're kind of far in, actually. But we are doing Shan Yun's story quest. You haven't seen it yet? <gasps> you did? Wait, how far did you get so far? Like, in, in Genshin?
AR-15, exciting. Okay. Who are you looking to? I mean, I'm assuming you pulled for, you know, yourself, but are there any like characters you're looking forward to pulling anytime soon or like hoping they'll get a banner soon? Hasn't reached leeway. Oh my God. Wait, was today? Tell me today wasn't your first day playing Genshin, right? Or like recently. Oh my, wait, that's so exciting. Oh, I don't know if they've told you yet. Oh, you haven't pulled for her yet. Oh, you got to make a whole big spectacle of that. Come more. Yes, thank you. Sorry, <laughs> I keep dragging you back. Thank you uh, so much for the raid again. Yes, hope to see you soon. Hope to talk to you. Enjoy Genshin in the early stages if I don't get to talk to you for a while. Um, have fun. It's so much fun. Figure. I think this is really the most fun part where you're just like figuring out how everything goes. So you're going to love it. Bye. Yes, thank you. Enjoy. Uh, wait, that's going to be so fun when she gets to do the quest. How fun is that gonna be when she gets to do her own quest? I feel like I feel like I'd be nervous to like to hear my own voice like in the game. I'd be like ah, like that. I don't know. Street word rambler? A pink diamond oh, mon. Real. I love Madame Ping. When's Madame Ping gonna be playable? That's messed up. Precisely. Let us meet at Yujing Terrace once you are ready. But, oh, we have to go find Sh uh Xingxiao and. You want to die? Oh, this is that's her. Just kidding. Wait, oops. Uh oh. Where are you going, Granny? Don't you like the food? Grandma wants her earthworms. Fresh milk. Oh. I need to buy you some fresh milk. Milk? Why? You need to drink milk before eating, or the spicy food will make you cry. Hush, little one. Don't cry. I love crying. So. <laughs> <laughs> Granny, you're forgetting things again. I'm not a little baby anymore. I can eat spicy food now. Even the super spicy Bro, dementia is actually so scary. I can eat two whole bowls. James, thank no you for the heart. I didn't notice that. I'm sorry. Wonderful. Thank you. Oh, Got home from work. How was work today? My darling granddaughter. My Eula. Ooh, a Eula main. Those are a rare breed nowadays. More power to you. You got C2 Shanyun, C6 Game. Oh, you're lucky. I got him C4, I think. Uh. I'm saving though. I had to stop pulling. I got C1 Shenyun, and I'm very happy. The C1 was practically free if we're using girl math. So that was very fun. Um, I can't. I, I promised myself I would save my pulls for Arlequino. I got. I have to stay strong. It's fine though. I'll get him eventually. I will never do Xingxiao's story quest. Normally, he's trapped in Xingxia Village, and I'm so glad that this quest didn't get locked. I was actually a little nervous. Huh. It's you two. What brings you here? Xingxiao! Great, we found you! Yeah, the what quest has been good so far. I'm, I Obviously, we haven't reached, like, the climax or anything, so I'm excited to see, like, what's gonna, you know, happen. I, I've heard it's sad, though, so I'm a little bit worried. Mm. I don't know if you guys have done it yet, but it's, That's uh... That's not a whole lot of information to go off of. I you know, I'm a little know nervous. I can say for sure. Real. Yeah. Real. It gets better. No hints. That's fine. That's fair. I can't pinpoint her identity from your description alone. But considering her age, I am reminded of a nameless heroine who's been featured in various chivalric novels. Ooh, okay. Nameless heroine? That's right. The novels often speak of a great drought from 50 years ago. As the people suffered... A nameless heroine appeared and began to clear away evil spirits and bandit camps. Uh oh, do we think her and Cloud Retainer? Her, but never learned um, her name. Collaborated? Was that she always it's gonna be sad. I, I really don't want to cry. Really though, she supposedly fell in love with Actually, a similarly crying is good for you. exorcist from Mount Tianhong. It's, it's, it's good for you. They were well matched in more ways than one. Often fighting together as a fearsome duo of otherworldly strength. Kaylee, I might do them after, after the, the quest is over, ended, depending on how late this goes. And the if that's all right. Left the also, spoiler warning for uh, Shanyun's story quest. Life in the mountains. All that remained were tales of her incredible accomplishments. Hmm. The way this nameless heroine faded from fame into obscurity later in life is not too dissimilar from Miss Yuendai. I hope that's somewhat helpful. Thanks a lot, Xingqiu. We knew it'd be worth talking to you. It's nothing at all. Just something I came across while reading. I did do a bit of extra research on her story, but it was just out of personal curiosity. Well, Paimon still thinks that's super cool. Oh, wait, Xingqiu, if you've read up on her, do you know of any places often associated with her? 
All right, I forgot we have to find that very peaceful place she was talking about. In the novels, the nameless heroine always appeared near one of three places. I was gonna say Ju Yun Cars. I was, I was, I was on the nose. I was gonna say it, but I didn't want to seem like a nerd. And Ching Yun Peak. Perhaps the real life heroine who inspired the character was also often seen I near those it. three places. In my brain, that I knew it. That explain why those locations appear in the various novels written about her. Oh, you haven't done any of uh, part of 4.4? I just started. <laughs> uh, but I'm not very far in. Honest, I found some parts of the story confusing when I first Aspen, came let me be it. excited about things. If Miss Uenda I don't know what a karst is. That's a great point, James. Character, also, hi, James. How are you? be able to help me put the pieces together. It's rare for a chivalric hero to fade into obscurity during their lifetime, even after retiring from the public eye. <gasps> really, Panda? But no Wait, that's exciting. What where are you? Again. There were even rumors that she became extremely ill. I've never understood why someone would go to such lengths to erase themselves from public memory. It's almost as if she was trying to hide from something. Foreshadowing. There's probably far more to the story than what's been written. We'll be sure to tell you if we manage to uncover the truth. Oh, she said that so fast. That's we should have told you. Like, she was Perhaps really fast. Behind the truth of it all, there lies a story more fantastical than any work of fiction. Paimon feels like we just learned so much from Shinkyo. A drought, a name Fantastical like seems like a fake word. You know? It doesn't uh, seem like it's wait, a real word. I know it is, but it doesn't... Familiar. It seems... <gasps> oh, I just kicked my... Camera. Oh, right. Hi! There's a drought in this story, I just kicked too. my ring light. Sorry, y'all. Um, Shinkyo, are droughts super common in Liyue or something? Well, they used to be. But people have long since developed methods to prevent them. Like by Is this true for China as well? Or, or no? Canals. Just leeway. So while droughts do happen from time to time, they are rarely regarded as true disasters. The drought 50 years ago is probably one of right? the Isn't that funny? in the last several centuries. It's ironic. <laughs> the crops withered, the streams ran dry, and the monsters in the mountains became rabid and agitated. Countless caravans were attacked, and people who lost their homes came together Lantern. to form bandit groups. Hey. What started as a natural disaster soon became a human tragedy as well. I haven't even that started Lantern, awful. right? Gotta yeah. go on that. And that's exactly next week. why the that's nameless next heroine problem. was so beloved. She must have been someone of true integrity to do so much for the people while asking nothing in return. Still... As terrible as that drought was, it was nothing compared to the truly calamitous disasters that befell this land in ancient times. They say that back in those days, disasters were both more severe and more common. Only the strongest of Adepti could hope to dispel the ruin and devastation. That's where Miss Shenyun comes in. Woo. Do you have any other questions? We're good for now. We're just going to head back and meet up with Miss Shenyun and the others again. Oh, Shen Yun, Shen Yun. They keep saying it's like almost like E. She used to be a great hero who saved many people. So oh, wow. She can't recall any of it. That's anyway, a lot of Mora, Aspen. See you some other time, Xingqiu. Thank you so much for your help. It's no problem at all. Safe travels. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. She's so speedy. Look at her go. What? I have recorded the oh, wow. that you requested. <laughs> I hope it will be of help to you. Oh, the sigils. Oh, I forgot you. about the sigils. Hi, Sneaky. What's up? How are you? Straight word ping. What has amused you so? <laughs> oh, it's no serious matter. I was just reminiscing about the last time I saw you in this form. Time has wrought such change in this world, and yet I love Madame Peng. You appear just the same as ever. Time has little bearing on one's existence, nor has one keenly felt its effects whilst dwelling at Mount Outsong. Shanyu? Nevertheless, uh, I'm using four-piece vermilion, uh, not vermilion, like sorry, brudescent on, on her. Matter. 
Oh. I think you can use Noblest, so though. All of a sudden? Uh, I, say, I don't know if there's any other sets that are good for her. Hi, Keanu. What's what up? Is it? Well, the inquiry is as such. Approximately how much more would one need to afford a comfortable life in the harbor? Not unlike the one that you yourself lead. Hmm. It does not require as much as you may think. Is she thinking about putting Still, up, like, the girl and her grandma, or is she gonna, it? like, move herself? Uh, what are you two talking about? <clears throat> Nothing save for some trivial matters. <sighs> Have you unearthed any useful details? Shinto has a theory, but let's save it for when Chu Yu and Miss Hyundai have joined up with us again. <gasps> I appreciate that, Sneaky. Sorry, I was on vacation last week, so I hadn't streamed in a full week, but I started streaming again on Tuesday. I'm back. Don't home. be troubled, young lady. Here. Look at all the lanterns! I haven't really seen them at night yet. Oh, I love Lantern Right. Thank you so much. I just love Leeway. What do you think, Chu Yu? Does it match up Thank with you, what you Sneaky? Know That's so sweet. According to the story, the nameless heroine eventually fell in love with an exorcist from Mount Tianhung. Maybe... that's my grandpa. I don't have many memories of him, but there is this one time I found a box in our attic full of a bunch of weird sigils. Alright, it's adding up. The story's adding up. I think so too. Granny might remember something once she's returned to a familiar place. What marvelous tea. I can taste the dew's sweetness in this cup. It's as if this is a character story a quest. We're doing uh, Shan Yun's. Thoroughly one with nature. Oh my god, it's the and thing in Dragon Spine. Look, I always forget you so. could just like see parts in the map. Please drink as much as <laughs> oh, you like. That's funny. There's no need to hurry. At our age, it's always nice to slow down and take the time to appreciate oh pleasant conversation among friends. Thank you. Okay, since we have the time, can I ask you something? Sure thing. What would you like to know? Um, I have a secret I want to tell you. Secret? Let's go talk over there. What's wrong, Shuyu? Well, I've been kind of meaning to ask ever since we started talking in the restaurant. How the hell did she know? Hey, well, not me. Are you guys but how? A duck in disguise? Oh. Uh, well, yes. No. <laughs> Why does she know that? Um, well, you guys just seem super special. Plus, I think I might have heard Miss Shen. Well, okay. There's there's a little bit of a giveaway. Must have been a slip of the tongue. Shenyun, since you were the one who, uh, misspoke, maybe you can explain to Shuyu here what you really meant by that. Uh. Hem, hem, hem. One is indeed an adeptus. Oh, wow. Is that of some Honesty concern is to you? Key. Ah! I knew it. Well, yeah, girl, because she told you. Well, one time when I was a little kid, I saw a pure white illuminated crane. I had this super high fever, and Granny wasn't around. I was feeling all icky and gross. But then this snowy white crane flew down from the sky. She put me on her back and flew me to her cool adeptus house and fed me some sort of magic potion. When I woke up, I was already back in my bed, and my fever was gone. I really wanted to thank her, but I was too sleepy to stay awake. So me, me. <laughs> so I just kind of wanted to ask if maybe any of you have ever met an adeptus like that? A pure white illuminated crane? The only two we've ever met are blue and white and black and brown. Have you ever met one that's pure white, Clavertina? Hmm. Never has one met an adeptus with such features. One surmises such a description is but a hyperbolic embellishment that oft results from narrative accounts. That's weird. Was it really just a dream then? Well, even if it was just in my head, it doesn't it matter her. much anyway. All I really want is to help Granny recover her memories. I'm really grateful for all your help. 
Leave it to us. Now that we know the three locations, we just need to visit. Yeah, the image was a one. very nice detail. Let's go to I liked that. First. Reading impact is crazy though. <laughs> okay, I'll go get Granny. Reading impact is very silly. I like that. Some quests. I hate the ones that aren't voiced. That one's really reading impact. World quests. Hooey. Wang Shu in. Oh my god, is Xiao gonna be there? Oh my god, Xiao. Xiao, 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 Xiao. He's right here. Wang Shu in. Wang Shu in. Do you remember this place, Granny? Yes. The fish here is very delicious. And if you look out into the distance, you can always spot a bird that's been left behind by its flock. I believe I used to have a room here. It had a window. Is she talking yes. about? Yes, I spent a lot of time. A bird left behind by its flock? Window. Which room was it again? I'll come with. Paimon's still having some trouble understanding what she's talking about, but if she's so familiar with this place, that must mean she lived here, right? Wait, huh? Woo! Yes! Yay! I sensed a non-human presence and decided to come take a look. So, 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 so. Then there's likely no trouble afoot. I suppose there's no cause for concern. It's been a while, Cloud Retainer. I see you have returned to your previous form. He's so happy. We never get to see him anymore, Darcy. I have indeed. I fought alongside her in this form on many occasions during the Archon War. Oh, wow. What was she like during the war? Probably crazy strong. I'd be scared oh, of her. Let Paimon take a guess. Was it anything like this? Behold. The glory of one's newest invention, the Bang Bang Continuous Fire Mechanism. Hands up and surrender, or be prepared to face the full might of the Adepti. Why was that kind of good? An impressive <laughs> imitation. Ha <laughs> <laughs> knows her all too well. Even so, Cloud Retainer was not always as ostentatious as you describe. She kind of ate her up she right there. Unaware, like, that's crazy. But her talent with Adepti Sigils is just as formidable as her skill in mechanics. Hmm. The Archon War reached its peak after Guizhong's death. The Cloud Retainer who fought beside me in those devastating battles was taciturn and solemn. Only speaking when she had to activate her sigils. A Cloud Retainer who barely talks? I can't picture it. But what happened after that? If you were so powerful in your human form, why did you decide to take up your bird form again? Once one had bid farewell to the world of mortals, what use would one still have for such a shape? Fair. When dwelling between mountain and forest, away from the struggles and troubles of the mortal world, a mortal cloud form retire is, is crazy. The most of choices. After the war, Cloud Retainer retired to Mount Outsong, Outsong. only revealing herself hmm. to the occasional visitor. Did not think that was how that was her pronounced. Form. Although I do believe there was an occasion some 30 odd years ago when she decided to don her human form. I believe it was for the purpose of. Oh! It one believes there is little need to relive bygone matters. Granny, are you okay? Uh oh! Uh, Someone get life alert, Grandma fell. Back then, at this place, I. Perhaps this conversation should end here. I shall no! Take my if I pause the quest, he can't Should leave. You encounter any trouble, you need only call my name. However, given that you are traveling with Cloud Retainer, I trust you are in good hands. If I if I don't continue the quest, he can't leave, guys. So actually, uh, quest over. We're done here. We're gonna stop here. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I was gonna say the fact that this isn't the first time I've tried to hold Chow captive in a quest because it's been so long since I've seen him. The last time I probably did this was Last Lantern, right? <laughs> <laughs> I have a problem. It's fine. Oh, and he's gone. Everyone, my heart. I oh. think Granny is finally beginning to remember Terrible. her past. Slowly now, 
Calm your mind and recount what has been recalled. He said, Peace. A long time ago, I stayed here to recuperate from my illness. Huh. So what Shinto said was true. You did fall ill. Was that why you went into hiding? Hmm. I don't remember. I'm very sorry, but but I can't even remember the name of my illness. The only thing I can remember is that it took a great toll on me, and there was no cure for it. Huh. I was confined to my room in Wangshu Inn, where I spent many days unconscious. I'd come to every once in a while and stare at the migrating birds outside the window. It was a solemn sight. I remember crying, but I'm not even sure I knew why. That's so One sad. One day, I met a traveling merchant. Upon hearing of my illness, he sold me a bottle of soul revitalizing. I would not buy something from a guy with that mustache. He that just doesn't seem trustworthy. The pills were concocted using adepti blood and could be used to alleviate my symptoms. Sure enough, I made a full recovery. My illness Luna, remained thank you for the follow. Welcome. How are you? Decades after that. So Wait, the dementia is a side effect? Remained dormant for several decades. Are you saying that? Oh, what never mind, never mind. Just a relapse My bad. of what happened all those years ago? And it was all thanks to the pills that you managed to keep the symptoms in check? Uh, Paimon's brain kind of hurts. Do you remember anything else? I'm sorry, I don't. Uh, oh, if only I wasn't so useless. Useless? Hey, That's sad. You're not useless. You've done so much for me. Watched me grow up, raised me. How could you say that about yourself? Yeah, oh, Granny, have some confidence. Child, Granny was just a bit Ow. frustrated. That's I keep like kicking stuff. The my feet are cold. It's cold in my room. Memories is a gradual process. Finding pieces of one's past is always superior to not finding anything at all. Let us make haste to the next location. Next location. Vamos, let's go. Next location. Oh, why don't we go to the area north of Dweyunkar's next? There isn't really a landmark there, so where should we start? Oh, Paimon's got it. Let's check out the houses in the area first. After all, if she was there for any oh, length of time, then she would have stayed somewhere, right? Oh, Paimon's really got her thinking cap on today. At this rate, we'll recover all of Granny Wendy's memories in no time. Ooh, ooh. Let's go. Do you encarst? Dementia impact. That's me doing my anything. <sighs> da -da -da. Well, one of them is right there. I guess we'll start. Don't remember this place at all. The movement is crazy. It really is. It's so good. Before. Still, I was thinking this place feels perfect for a game of hide and seek. This isn't where we play hide and seek with that one kid, what is a it? Game of hide and seek? I'm not sure. Maybe it's because I used to play that game a lot with Shuyu when she was younger. Hmm. I don't remember playing it that much. Are you sure about that, Granny? We only played a few times, and we stopped once we realized I was no good at the whole seeking part. Ah, is that so? Then I must be mistaken. Hmm. Not here, then. Let's try somewhere else. I, th I actually am a little disappointed. I thought we were going to play some hide and seek. I'm not going to lie. I can just alternate between the two of them. How fun is this? Oh, okay. 
just if she flows so smoothly they did such a good job with that i know in the live stream they were saying they were worried about like pe making people nauseous but i think it looks fantastic hey let's hang out in an abandoned home it's shenyun's like smiling she knows stuff did you remember something granny i i remember show you this is where your father was born it was a moonless night i had been injured so your grandpa was supporting me we fled together with some being in the fog behind us in hot pursuit oh wow i had exhausted my strength when the labor pains came on so we took refuge in this house your grandpa set up a barrier outside, but neither of us knew if it could hold the monsters back. I remember that night. Over I back. remember falling to my knees, reciting a prayer over and over. I alone am the source of this sin. Punish me as you wish for forsaking my oath, but spare my What's sin, though? child. Sin? Oath? Did you do something Yeah, I was gonna say, I saw a little curve of the belly. I don't know. I don't remember. Aww. I only remember praying in the darkness with all my strength until the sun finally rose again and the fog cleared out. Eventually, the house was filled with the sound of my baby's first cries. That baby was your father. I remember I clutched him tight to my chest and wept tears of joy. It was the first time I'd ever felt such happiness in my life. My dad? He was my pride and joy. And so are you, Shuyu. You're so much like him, and I love you both so much. But I'm getting sad already. Always going to be different from me. I... Why... Just, what did I do? I don't care what you might have done, Granny. You'll always be the person I love more than anything. You're too sweet, Shuyu. I can't figure this out. I'm lucky to have you with me. I don't know if you're, we're if able to figure you, it out, but I, I can't figure it out yet. I really can't. To come here to try to remember what I had forgotten. All right. Let's not stand around any longer. There's one place left, yes? Let's go take a look. Hmm. If one recalls correctly, the next place should be Chinyu Peak. You and I, how fair is your health? I may be a bit slow, but I'll do my best to keep up. I'm sorry to keep everyone waiting. Climb on, I shall carry you to the top. Oh, such lightness of weight. She's actually carrying her. All Wait, me, 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 th me next, my turn. Old grow frail in the end, do they not? First, you lose your memory, then your health. Eventually, you end up losing everything. My only wish is to depart this world with a lucid mind, to free myself of this torment and the burden it places upon others. Fret not, you have my aid in this endeavor. What? What? Wait! What? 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 Hello? Oh, wow. These could be salvaged for parts. What the hell? It's a good thing I decided to walk. That's crazy. I can't believe that. Hello? I'm sorry, have I never explored Leeway before? Oh, damn it. Bro, what is going on? Never mind. Like, should I bring out the treasure map? I'm a little bit scared. Got him. <sighs> We're finally here. Does this place feel familiar to you, Granny Wendai? 
let me see. I, I'm loving Shinyan so far. She's awesome. Shinyan! Shanyun, hello? Shanyun, Shan. I need to go to bed. I do also love Shinyan, though, however. But that, that statement is true. Don't get it twisted. When we were at Wangshu Inn and the abandoned house earlier, though I couldn't remember everything, I still felt a sense of familiarity. I could easily picture myself in those places. Mm -hmm. But here, I don't have that feeling. Uh, perhaps I did come here in the past, but it just didn't leave a strong impression on me. But did the stories get it wrong then? I mean... Yeah, that's true. But they're also the only thing we have to go off of. Paimon was hoping this place would jog Granny Uendai's memory just like the others. I'm sorry to disappoint you too. It's all right. We're not going to give up yet. We'll figure something else out. Just you wait. Thank you. If only I could remember. Huh? That way. What's that mountain? Oh, let Paimon look! Huh? Isn't that Mount Altsang? Looks like we've come full circle. Ah, oh, the bridges when you walk Mount up there. Altsang. I miss that so much. Mount Altsang. Granny, are you okay? Don't push yourself, Granny. It's okay if you can't remember. You shouldn't do something that makes you sad. Unrelated, but I no. love the ribbon on the Altsang, back of uh, I... uh, Shenyun's outfit. Shenyun, sorry. Really? Mount Altsang holds some familiarity to you? It does, but I... I can't go back. Can't? Are you feeling unwell? My head... It feels all heavy and dizzy. I... Just... What is wrong with me? Cloud... Miss Yanyun, is there anything you can do? Let us go to Mount Outsong. But... I mean, we want... not, all will be well. You and I, you have already given more than enough to the pursuit of this endeavor. You may leave the rest to me. I've prepared something that can aid you in suppressing the fear in your heart and restoring your lost memories. It currently resides at Mount Outsong. Wait, that? really? When did you do that? <laughs> I never leave anything to chance. All will reveal itself when we arrive. Oh, crypt it. My Shanyun, she's using, um, she's using a four-piece viridescent, uh, right now. Four-piece Vivi. Real. No problem. Uh, you can also use four piece noblesse on her. Some people do. It depends on like who you're using her with and what she needs to do. What's this thing you've prepared? Here, this is it. Oh, we were you looking at that earlier? But isn't this the mechanism that you were tinkering with when we first got here? Oh, is it another invention of yours? Precisely, a recent one at that. I am most pleased with the result. I call it the Suspensus Somnium Mechanism. It periodically releases a soft breeze, which when paired with a gentle adeptal tune, can help the listener subconsciously relax, and even enter a semi-hypnotic state. An icon, she's just the coolest. and anxiety, relieving exhaustion and insomnia, its potential uses are numerous indeed. And of course, it can also lullaby aid in the recovery of lost memories. Oh, what a cool gadget! But if you had it all along, why did you keep it to yourself until just now? We could have come to Mount Outsong right off the bat and saved time on a lot of floating. Paimon. How preposterous! Had you and I not recalled much of her past through her own efforts, preposterous. The device would have nothing to draw upon. We Adepti can only help those who first resolve to help themselves. 
had she lacked such determination and strength of character. Okay, Grandma. Grandma's well, strong. Little to offer in way of assistance. Paimon thinks she gets it now. Uh, hey, what's that other thing? As previously mentioned, a gentle adeptal tune is required to take full advantage of the mechanism. One secured such a tune from Streetward Rambler. Only with her melodies can the mechanism reach its peak power. Oh, Paimon can feel what you mean. Paimon's body feels light as a feather. It's as if she's lying down on a warm patch of grass after a super satisfying meal. Damn, that sounds like a good time, Paimon. I'm not even gonna lie. And you, you and I. Is the mechanism helping you to relax? <sighs> oh, she's so cold. God bless. <sighs> it appears she has already succumbed to the depths of reverie. Come, join one on this side. We shall give her some time to herself. The drought is over. But why do you look like you want to cry? The potion. It's nearly run its course. I've never regretted meeting you. Not even for a second. Please. Please, no. Have you forgotten? This is the world you left behind. One of gentle breeze and morning dew, perfectly straddled betwixt the realms of heaven and earth. This is your home. This is where you belong. You should have never left. The you of the past, the me from not that long ago, we should have never. I would not have guessed that. So that is the truth. No wonder this place is so familiar. I... Granny! Granny, are you okay? Cloud Retainer. Hmm. Your memories have returned. Wait, did you just call her by her full name? Does that mean... You already knew each other? Yes. I now remember everything. Everything. Granny, please don't cry. I'm here. I'm here. Oh, don't worry, my dear child. Granny is fine. I'm so sorry, everyone. You've gone to so much trouble on my behalf. It's all come back to me now. The most important thing that I had forgotten was the truth of what I once was. <sighs> One can sense the guilt that now plagues your conscience. Reclaiming a truth long buried is sure to come with a myriad of complex emotions. Perhaps one should recount the story on your behalf while you compose yourself. No, it's okay. Now that I've remembered, I must face my memories head on. Shuyu, everyone, I cannot thank you enough for all your help. I'm ready to tell you my story, if you're willing to listen. Please, Granny, don't force yourself. What happened in the past doesn't matter. I love you more than anything. Did you try to become Nothing human? Can like, change that. I'm very know, confused. My feelings for you are exactly I guess I'll find out in a moment. I could be patient. It but... is for this reason that you deserve to know the truth. Some time ago, I made a terrible mistake. One for which I could never atone. Is this the sin that you mentioned in Dwayne Karst? What happened? See, I want to, I'm pausing for a second. I wanted to say, like, maybe she has, like, Adeptus vibes because she was like, you'll never be like me. She said that to the girl. But I don't know. I didn't think it would be that. I guess, I don't know. Anyways. I am, in truth, 
not a human being. My real form, one that I held for centuries, was that of a wild crane. Oh, auto, oops, sorry. I spent many, many years living on Mount Outsong, bathing in the soft breeze and drinking the sweet dew of the mountains. At some point, I somehow gained wisdom and sentience. The Lord of the Mountain, Cloud Retainer, became aware of my existence and began to share many stories with me. She even passed on the secret of cultivation to me. Though she never took me on as a formal disciple, I always saw her as my master. Whenever she took out her tools to work on mechanisms or new inventions, I would also stand next to her and watch. Carlos, I even for the contemplated follow. completing my training and becoming an adeptus in my own right. I followed her teachings, and time gradually passed us by. Until that fateful day, fifty years ago. Fifty years ago? Yeah, the job. That's right. Master regaled me with many stories of her past deeds. From them, I learned how she had saved people from a similar crisis in the past. She was the one I looked up to the most. More than anything, I dreamt of becoming an adeptus like her. I wanted to travel the land like she had, relieving suffering wherever I went. But I was still far from being a real adeptus. I possessed no ability to take on human form and fit in with the crowd. Once she learned of my desires, Master prepared a special dose of human mimicry potion for me. She warned me that the potion's effects would only last ten years, and if I were to fail to return to my original form at the end oh. of that time, I would forever forget my past as a crane and become something neither human, beast, nor adeptus. Oh, no. So that was... The source of your dementia all along. Was it because of Grandpa? Indeed, I fell in love. Though he was human, he had spent his entire life training on Mount Tianhang. When we met, it was not only my first foray into the world below, but his as well. Oh. Although clumsy and impulsive as he was, you'd think he was the real strange bird among the two of us. But still, just like me, he cared deeply about the world and wanted, more than anything, to cleanse it of all pain and suffering. I could not help but fall for him. But my time continued to tick away. Those ten years passed by in a flash. Yet, I did not want to leave his side, so Pimbles I... Pimples are great. I... Oh no, what happened next? I committed an offense. I wanted to stay with him, even if it meant living a life full of pain and suffering. Even if it meant that I would eventually turn into a monstrosity. Was her having a kid? Was that the I offense? I knew I had betrayed Master's hopes. But I was too ashamed to face her. So I wrote her a long letter instead and asked someone to leave it outside her abode. Hey, what's up? How are you? I was convinced that she would not support my decision, and I lacked the courage to speak to her face to face. In my shame, I fled and tried to hide from the world, such that no one would be able to find me again. But that was only the beginning of my troubles. I began to suffer from a strange illness. My memories became hazy and confused, and I could no longer keep myself awake. I understood that my pain was caused by my refusal to return to the life I was fated to lead. Along with my yes, my screen record is. Crane, I soon well, I can clip stuff. The true cause of my suffering. Like I, as well. I could clip the past minute. I knew only that I had committed a sin. All I could do was pray for forgiveness, even if I had long forgotten what needed to be forgiven. Looking back, I was beyond lucky to have come across that traveling merchant at Wangshu Inn. It was such a fortunate coincidence that we were there at the same time. 
If it weren't for those soul revitalizing tea pills, I probably would have. <sighs> Granny, what's wrong? Coincidence? Why did I ever think it was a coincidence? Tea pills concocted using the blood of an adeptus? No, it couldn't be. Master, don't tell me. Back then, that merchant was She actually... was the one with the mustache? <sighs> Human custom would dictate the conferral of gifts to be in order when one's progeny is wedded, would it not? Consider the pills a symbol of one's best wishes. <sighs> so when I tried to conceal my name and mistakes from the world and hide myself away in perpetuity, the only person I managed to deceive was myself. You knew where I was all along. One still remembers when you were but a fledgling. You possessed a certain fondness for a particular game. You would hide yourself among a group of wild cranes and ask one to pick you out from among the flock. One found you with such ease every time. Tis the truth most evident. One always recognizes one's own, no matter what form they may take. Oh, wait, wait, wait! Oh. I'm confused! That's what Shenha said. So, Cloud Retainer, you found you and I again? But how? When? And what happened after that? <sighs> That's very Perhaps sweet. Perhaps it is now time for one to recount the rest of the tale. That's really cute. So technically that's like her like great grandkid then. Oh. And of course I can't use my camera. Oh, it's messed up. One was furious upon receiving your letter. Seized with anger. One set out to bring you to your senses. Look at the way the little lotuses are, like, glowing. In truth, one had more than a few misgivings about your chosen partner. As an exorcist, his talent was lacking. One could hardly say his skill with sigils was any better. Oh, she was picky. Soon, one came this, to by the way, is this Wang Shu? The devotion he bestowed upon you during your illness. He never uttered a complaint and rarely left your side. Unwilling to begrudge someone of such character, one decided to overlook his aforementioned deficiencies. Deficiencies. Glaring though they may have been. Wishing to grant you a life without regrets, one gathered many divine ingredients and used one's own blood to create a form of medicine. Though imperfect, it managed to suppress the more dire effects of your illness. As for how to deliver the medicine, after much contemplation, one eventually decided to perform the deed oneself. One took great care to alter one's features <laughs> and select the appropriate attire. The mustache is crazy. Scrutiny did one finally set out for Wang Shu Inn. As one expected, you were most ignorant of one's true identity. You showed not even the slightest inkling of recognition. <sighs> one was quite torn. Should one have celebrated the success of one's disguise, or mourn the loss of your acquaintance? Mm -hmm. I mean, technically she did lie. Technically she was lying in her shady form as a... Yeah. Ooh, the music in here!
Peace prevails throughout the land, and all things are made new, as buds in the spring. This is an auspicious era for humanity. I'm sorry, this is just so beautiful. Anyways. Yeah. Skyward. Scatter. Oh, too far. Yeah. Nevertheless, one okay, to okay. to you about another matter. If you are amenable, even considering your loss of memory, one was simply flabbergasted that you could so easily forget the consequences of consuming medicine infused with adeptal blood. Its proclivity to attract monsters is hardly that complicated oh. a concept to remember. To think that you tried to travel while weak from sickness and heavy with child. Had one not intervened to clear the fog, all of you would have been lost during the night. And she put a... Oh no, that was with the... the... Or was that sigils her husband did? monsters would hardly have pursued you so she led ferocity. the way and then he set up a barrier to protect them incentive they were likely incited by the presence of godly remains <sighs> sad godly remains in turn were likely drawn to the trace of one scent on your body one was after all an active participant in the archon war some of the gods were likely shattered by contraptions of one's very making. In the end, one was relieved to see you endure through the night. At the break of dawn, one heard an infant's cry pierce through the air, and one saw you carefully cradle the child to your chest. Although certain mortal matters remain foreign to me, one could not help but be moved by your joy. To see you happy, that was more than enough. She's so sweet. I really do love her. Here's this beautiful music again. Now you should have a complete understanding of the events. Wait! But if that's true, then the crane who took care of me when I was sick must also be. Ah, one had almost neglected to recount. I was supposed to say, how was she able to do that? that? Wow, look at this. It's like old Leeway Harbor. Wait, that's really cool. Oh, I can't go any further than this. Damn it. <laughs> Can I go back here? No, damn. <laughs> okay. 
They're holding me back, y'all. Just as you and I troubled one with her antics, so did you give one many a headache. Mm -hmm. Upon finding you burning with fever, one made plans to bring you back to one's abode for treatment. However, upon seeing one's form, you began to cry, refusing to get on one's back. When one asked you why, <laughs> apparently you believed that one could not possibly be a true Adeptus, because all illuminated cranes are white from tip to toe. One had no choice but to apply powder to one's body to conceal the variegated nature of one's appearance. You became more than amenable enough when one stood before you devoid of any other coloring. It bears mentioning, however, that si. as a crane, you and I was nearly entirely pure white in color. Though you had never encountered her in that form, she you still powdered herself. The essence That's of her too being. funny. Perhaps fate brought you two together in more ways than one. Now all has been revealed. <sighs> one owes you an apology, you and I. One recognized you upon your very entrance into Wan Mean Restaurant. One has always viewed you as a disciple of equal standing with Ganyu and Shenhe. Indeed, one wished to bring your story to a satisfactory end with this visit to Liyue Harbor. Still, one could not reveal your identity right away. Had one simply informed you of all you had lost, all those cherished memories would merely have become the fictionalized account of another. Memories are most meaningful when recalled by those who live through them. Would you not agree? Even if the process was painful and arduous to experience. <sighs> Have you any further inquiries? Master, I... Oh, she sounds much younger. I must ask, if you found me all those years ago, why did you leave me be even though you knew about my mistake? Why did you not bring me back to Mount Outsong by force? Because she would One never. Has never regarded your action as a mistake. It was a simple choice, nothing more. When it is time for one's progeny to leave the nest, it is the responsibility of an elder to let them fly free. Yet, when your wings grow weary and the night grows dark, just know that you always have a place to which to return. Tis a refuge referred to by many a name in mortal writing. Home, nest, haven. Whatever its denomination may be, its essence remains quite unchanged. Hmm. One speaks, of course, of a place not unlike one's own abode. One's disciples are free to come and go as they wish. Yet the door remains forever open to those who wish to return. One rather hopes you count yourself among them. Thank you. I just... Thank you so much. Hmm. You and I. One expects you too have sensed the rapid deterioration of your condition as of late. Uh-oh. Have you not? Forty years ago, you chose a path without a future. Though one used one's own blood to provide you with a few decades of extra time, it merely delayed the inevitable. One may have extended the path, yet one was unable to alter its final destination. <sighs> Even the power of an Adeptus has its limits. Had your condition continued to deteriorate, you would have forgotten your life as a human entirely. In the end, you would have turned into a creature lacking in the ability to even comprehend its own monstrousness. God. Fortunately, you were able to avoid that scenario by reclaiming your memories. Though one sped the process along by providing some guidance, the result is entirely a reflection of your own effort. So, what's gonna happen to Granny? One um, will help her reclaim her original form as a wild crane. If it be fated, 
She may recover her sentience one day. She's gotta go back to being a regular crane, huh? Oh, that's... That's a little bit sad. Master, you've already done more than enough for me. I don't know how I could possibly repay your kindness. This is a better result than I could have ever hoped for. How much time do I have left? <sighs> hmm. Not long. The transformation is imminent. Granny? Please don't leave, okay? You're all I have left. Please. Don't be sad, dear child. Granny has led a wonderful life. My only regret is having to leave you behind. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Don't forget to eat well, okay? A growing young lady like yourself needs lots of good food to grow big and strong. Promise Granny you'll take good care of yourself when I'm gone. I promise, Granny. I'll do whatever you say. Good girl. Good girl. Don't worry. It's not goodbye forever. Granny's gonna become the most formidable crane in all of Mount Outsung. Granny will train day and night. I won't stop until I can turn into a human without having to rely on anything but my own power. When that day comes, we'll be able to live together again. You and I. How's that sound? Good. That's a good girl. Even though we won't see each other for a little while, as long as we both work hard, we're sure to meet again someday. I'll eat well, Granny. I promise. And I'll wait for you, no matter how long it takes. I'll wait for you to come back. That's a good girl. Wow, okay. Then Granny really has no more regrets. I'm so sorry, Master. Thank you. For everything. Let her be. At her age, crying is a natural, if not fitting, response to such an event. Tears are a necessary part of maturation. Sometimes there is scarcely a better vehicle to wash away the toll of stress and misery. Now that the issue has been resolved, you should also take a moment to relax. Give yourself some time to rest. Take a nap if you must. One will wake you in due time. It gets worse? Bro, I'd do anything to nap here, I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> I always believed we would 
see each other again, that our days of separation would finally end, and all my troubles would be behind me. Shouldn't your dreams be pleasant? It was a good dream. It's just... You Poor weren't Lameen. ready to wake up. as one may be. Words of comfort are not one's strong suit. You are doing all you can. One can see your strength of will, your fearlessness in the face of danger. And so, whatever your dream may be, one believes that you shall achieve it. Of course, whenever the perils you face overwhelm you, or you become weary, one is always here for you. After all, as an elder, it is only right to look out for the young ones. <gasps> really sad <laughs> I feel bad for his poor little me that's so sad I just got really upset for her. Oh. Well, it's just like it's if we've come so far. Sometimes I really just forget that the only reason that like like you know we do any of this is to find your like the your brother, you know. And it's just it's so sad. Oh my god, that was terrible. I mean, that was great, but that was terrible. Oof, okay, I'm calming down. Sorry. I have, I had to, like, actually take it. I literally would have said... Okay. I was crying, yes, sorry. Whew, okay. I actually don't even want to hear Paimon. Literally don't even want to hear it. Oh, you. You're awake. How do you feel? I well, I knew it was a dream. I I I knew the gra like the girl really wasn't seeing her Thanks. grandma, but then I know I'll see Granny again someday, so I don't feel so sad anymore. Madam Adeptus, could I uh, ask you something? Would you take me in as a disciple? Oh, and have you reasons for this sudden interest? I know Granny thought what she did back then was wrong. She felt really bad about it. Ooh. Without that mistake, I would have never been born. Even though Granny lost her memories, she never forgot to show me how much she loved me. So, I thought maybe one day, I could become a cool adeptus like you, and help a whole bunch of people, 
just like Granny wanted to do. Upon some reflection, one supposes you are Ooh. no mere mortal. The fact that you and I's Good blood stuff. flows through your veins is proof enough of that. If this is what you desire, one shall make it so. Thank you so much, Madam Adeptus. Ooh. No, uh, I mean, Master. I chew you. Are you sure about this? Paimon's gonna let you in on a little secret. We've seen Cloud Retainer's two other disciples, and they pretty much eat nothing but bitter herbs like Chinchin and Violet Grass. <laughs> Don't blow up her spot, Paimon, come on. If you join them, you'll never enjoy one Min restaurant's delicious cooking ever again. Shanha literally works there. <sighs> How utterly preposterous. One has never enforced such a rule. They're just weirdos. Every individual must find their own path to enlightenment. So long as one retains a pureness of spirit, one's dietary proclivities are quite irrelevant. Well, you say that, but Paimon's not seeing any tasty treats up here now, is she? Although Mount Outsong is rich in natural beauty, its location does preclude access to certain finer mortal comforts. I mean, that's basically what that she just said. She said they're just freaks. That is plans to relocate to Liyue Harbor. Shu Yu shall have the honor of becoming one's first disciple in the human world. Whoa! You're leaving Mount Outsong? One has never concerned oneself with the location of one's So she residence. sensed her... From the very beginning, she sensed uh, you and I like starting to fade, and she's Yet in wow. The end, all of one's disciples ended up in Liyue Harbor. Gan Yu, Shen He, Yu and I, they all chose a life among the mortal world. One has reflected on this fact for many years now. One can only assume that it is due to some failing on one's part as an elder or master. A failing, perhaps, of recognizing what it was they truly wanted. One is most curious as to what aspect of Liyue Harbor could have enticed them to remain there. <sighs> One could hardly offer an opinion on the matter, but perhaps some time in the harbor will prove instructive. Why are you all so silent? Because you're the best woman ever, and I'm I sad. <laughs> Grab a meal together in Liyue Harbor sometime? Hmm. One has precious little time to squander. However, if one finds oneself otherwise unoccupied, one would not be opposed to the idea. She loves us. She loves us. One will be assuming the identity of a human while residing in Liyue Harbor. You should take care to avoid disclosing this is the one's talking true about. identity. I love it. I don't know why. Don't worry, we'll help you keep it a secret. So, uh, when can we expect to start seeing you in the city? Perhaps in two days' time. One has some matters to see to before one's departure. Preparation is the key to success, after all. One plans to put up various items from one's collection for sale. Right? The earnings should provide for a comfortable living in Liyue Harbor. One has already picked out a handsome property near Chihu Rock. Tis no small purchase, but what is mortal life if not one expense after another? Yep, I know that's right. Not even funny. Seems like you've really thought of everything. Then how about we meet up in Liyue Harbor in two days? A sensible plan. See you then. Oh, also, why don't you take this suspense insomnia mechanism as a souvenir? Anytime you should feel I... ill at ease in the future, you may try quieting your mind and sitting in meditation as you listen to its melodies. Tea it pot, might help tea you find pot, a new perspective. Tea pot. Awesome! Thanks, Cloud Retainer! Hey, didn't we promise Shincho that we'd tell him what we found out? Should we make a trip to the Feiyun Commerce Guild? It's totally up to you. Feiyun Commerce Guild, so we have to go. I'm sorry, I just have to get a picture of the...
That was very... Very emotional. But it was... So, about your move to Liyue Harbor, you gonna tell the other Adepti about it? <gasps> I have left an explanatory note in my abode. Those two old fossils will discover it, I am sure, should they come seeking my company. Considering their recent pension for going off on private escapades, no, however, I find myself caring little for how they shall receive this news. Um, she took her, um, her table. She took her, her, um, what do you call it? The, um, the place setting that was there. The, the, the wine and the, what do you call it? Do you know what I'm saying? Her, her, ta her s setting that was there at the table. Now just, um, uh, Guizhong's is left. about your granny. Is it okay if we tell him the full story? Sure. I don't think granny would mind. As long as you don't tell a whole bunch of people. I don't think she'd want too many people to know. They might go to Mount Outsong and start bugging her about it. Granny needs to focus on her training, you know? But telling a friend or two is probably fine. No worries. Our friend can keep a secret. Yes, the tea set. Thank you. My goodness. I thought it was a wine jug for some reason, but yes, the tea set was what I was trying to reference. All right, so I have to go to the uh, the commerce school. Where is that? Like, it's here kind of-ish. Probably closer to here, more like it. Two days. Oh, wait, are we supposed to go to the guild first? Ah, there we go. We meet again, dear friends. How did everything go? Bro, you would never Wait, believe it. And it's all thanks to you. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> ah, sorry. I see. So the stories didn't get it right after all. Even though she was a celebrated heroine, she had to bear a She was more of a celebrated heroine. I know understand. that's right. <laughs> Adeptus, Sorry. She was able to recover what she had lost. <laughs> Although I cannot claim to know exactly how their story will unfold from here, I trust the ending will be a happy one. I'm a genius. Those united in a common purpose always I'm actually so find funny. a way back to so. each other in the end. Thank you for helping me fill in the oh, gaps. I just kicked my. I'm so sorry. I keep kicking my ring light. I'll keep this all to myself. Thanks, buddy. It's not my story to tell, after all. No, that was good. Don't leave. That was a good joke, Penguinos. Come on. Wait, I wasn't even listening to this kid. What did he say? We meet again, dear. Great. And it's I I'm sorry, I was just so Ah, I see. So the story Celebrated heroine, right not heroin. Thank goodness for the help of that adept. Although I cannot claim to know exactly how their story will unfold from here, I trust the ending will be a happy one. Those united in a common purpose always find a way back to each other in the Let's end. hope that's foreshadowing Thank for Miss Lumine as well. In the gaps. And don't worry, I'll keep this all to myself. It's not my story to tell, after all. Okay, I wasn't paying attention. And now we have to wait for two days. Cammy, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome, how are you? Oh, my artifact luck. <laughs> Ethan, uh, thank you so much for the sub. I really appreciate that. Oh, from the newest TikTok? Oh, I forgot I posted a TikTok before I went live. Oh, wow. Oh, oops. Not a single one. Damn. 
That's okay. Is this her house right there? <gasps> How pleasant! <sighs> Your concerns are excessive and unfounded. This is but a simple collection of ordinary valuables. Such intense scrutiny is hardly necessary. Uh, to be quite honest, your insistence on that fact is my primary cause for concern. <laughs> In what way are any of these ordinary? Every single item here could be worth more than everything I own combined. I simply can't risk shelling out that kind of mora without proper scrutiny. If I'm wrong, I would never be able to earn it back, not even if I worked every single day for the rest of my life. I have to be careful. Yes, you can never be too careful. Okay. We're here, Quill! Uh, Miss Shenyan, what are you guys arguing about? Ah, perfect timing. This ignoramus is questioning the ignoramus. of my wares. Oof. I'll have you know. These items I would have die. untouched in my personal An ignoramus is absolutely nuts. To question their legitimacy is pure folly. Several hundred years? It, indeed. <clears throat> They're family heirlooms, you see. Okay, Darcy. Passed down over many generations, as families are wont to do. Yep, yep, they've definitely been around a while. We can vouch for her on that one. Hear that? Had I not found myself in need of Mora, I would scarcely have had the heart to part with them. Indeed, you should consider it an honor to even have the opportunity to behold them with your own eyes. <laughs> Doubt their authenticity any further, and I may just decide to take them to another buyer. Whoa, 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 please don't go! I apologize for any insult, miss. You see, I know full well that I lack the knowledge to judge the true worth of these items. If you could wait but a moment, I've hired an expert to appraise. Bro, it's about to be Zhang Li, and he's gonna go. Yeah, I know exactly when this was made. An expert, you say? I. Oh, very well. I will wait for a little while longer then. Traveler Paimon, this is my new residence. If you have cause to seek my company in the future, this is where you can find me. I'm gonna visit her every day. Oh, it's you two again. Hello. New fit? I know that's right. She has little mm. ribbons in her hair. Made cute. It for me. I like it too. Huh? You know how to make clothes? She makes like literal Okay. Oh, do I know how to make clothes? With the support of the proper mechanism, sewing is hardly a challenge. Master, I brought in most of my stuff. There's a few boxes left, but they're kind of heavy, so I just left them outside. Someone get Shen, huh? If not, I shall help you move them into your room. Uh, actually, I should probably uh, sort through my stuff a bit first. Everything is kind of messy right now, so maybe you could um not look yet, Master. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> it appears my young apprentice has her own fair share of secrets. No matter. Do what you must, child. Now, this expert you mentioned. When can we expect their arrival? Soon, soon. Ah, there he is. Here, allow me to make I knew some it. Yup, I Zhongli, knew it. A well-respected consultant at Wang Shang Funeral Parlor Who and else? an expert in all manner of valuables and antiques. Mr. Zhang Li, this is Miss Shen Yun. She's the one who's looking to sell the collection of valuables I mentioned earlier. Ah. Uh. Huh. Ah. If it isn't Miss Shenyun, it has been quite some time since our last meeting. What a serendipitous reunion. Lala, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome. <clears throat> In indeed, most serendipitous. Uh, have you been faring well as of late, Mr. Zhongli? Quite well, thank you. I was fortunate enough over the past few days to enjoy both a stroll in the mountains. That's what I'm saying. Shao's parents brew of tea divorced the parents having a reunion. The experiences left me with such insight and peace. Huh. 
so you two are already acquainted? Indeed. How fortunate we are that fate has brought us together again. If you are otherwise unaware, allow me to inform you that Miss Shenyun is a well-regarded collector and appraiser. She is well-versed in all fields, and oft-celebrated for her impeccable taste. You stand to Chanted gain much Cyber, from Thank you for the follows, guys. Welcome. <laughs> you are too kind, Mr. Zhongli. True collectors pride themselves on their wealth of knowledge and eye for detail. I can say without a doubt that you are foremost in that regard. Why? You flatter me, Miss Shenyun. It would seem they're flirting, you are guys. Shaw's about to get a sibling. I know that's right. <laughs> Not at all. Oh, Mr. Sorry, thank you for the follow. Not at all. Oh, have fun um, at work tomorrow. Thank you for stopping by. While I am loath to butt into this conversation, I must ask: you two already knew each other, and you seem to have quite a cordial relationship. Can I be certain that you're not working together to swindle me? This I guy. mean, you never know. <laughs> okay. Huh. A preposterous accusation. The heavens themselves would collapse before we would conspire. That's to do she's so thing. dramatic. I love Ms. her. Miss Shinyan speaks the truth. Contracts are built on honesty and trust. If that proves to be beyond your capabilities in this instance, this transaction may be taken elsewhere. Say no more. Let us depart. Oh, she's had enough. She's done. Uh, I just, I just. What fool would still harbor doubts after Mr. Zhongli himself has vouched for the goods? Miss Shenyun, Miss Shenyun, wait. Good luck, kid. <clears throat> I deeply apologize for doubting you. So, um, Mr. Zhongli, could you please give me a final verdict on the value of these items? There is no cause for concern. They are indeed rare and precious valuables. Take this mechanism, for instance. Though one may not immediately perceive its purpose, its structure and appearance are exquisite enough to merit it a place in any fine home. The same can be said for this one here. Few could hope to possess an item that so perfectly blends mechanical wonder with geometric grace. I am sure you have heard from your travels that the study of mechanisms is among the most wondrous arts in this world. With that in mind, I earnestly recommend procuring every last item in this collection. All right. Since I hired you as my consultant, Mr. Zhongli, I shall, of course, trust your good opinion. Then, in that case, Miss Shenyun, I'll take the lot. However, since the final sum is quite large, how about we start with an initial deposit through the Northland Bank? Uh-oh. Fatui's the getting Northland involved. Bank? Huh. Oh, you refer to the fiduciary house. Oh, very well. <laughs> I fear people only use the term bank nowadays. In that case, I'll be off for now. I'll return to collect the goods once you've received the funds. Oh, thank you for the follow. Welcome. How are you? <sighs> Hi, Cyber. What's up? Welcome, Shall welcome. We? My friends, have you been doing well? We've been great. How about you? Quite the whirlwind of emotions, brother. You have no idea. My days have been quite pleasant as well. I had been quietly enjoying a cup of tea when Mr. Shaozu requested my services. As for you, Miss Shenyun, I presume you must be looking to settle in the city? I must say, the name Shenyun sounds exceedingly strange coming from you. Perhaps you could dispense of that particular epithet in further conversation. Whatever for. Am I not addressing you as a friend should? Well, Fair. that is true, but... <sighs> Alas, refer to me however you will. After all, a name exists such that others What growth too, because she so seemed she seems to really not like humans. That was her whole thing. <laughs> it would seem that you have gained many valuable insights over the years, Cloud Retainer. One has indeed. One's previous days were all brief. Now that one has made up one's mind to move and settle, one has gained a much better appreciation of the hubbub and commotion of the city. As well as the people's hard work and art. Yeah, well, this they city are. She's not wrong. Much changed from how it was more than a thousand years ago. Not unlike the ocean tides, 
so too shall the movement of people ebb and flow. From turmoil to peace, enlightenment to aspiration. Human society There's a guy possesses sweeping over potential. there and he just disappeared. In another thousand years, the scene we witness here may change in ways that are impossible for either of us to imagine. Alright, that's enough reflection for one day. No need to get all sentimental on us. Too late, you brother. Valid point, Paimon. Now that the sale has concluded, what say one plays the host as we try some specialty dishes together? One must profess great interest in trying bamboo shoot soup. Isn't that a jungle specialty? Perhaps you have forgotten, Cloud Retainer, but I once tried my hand at that dish. You were at the table on that occasion, so logic dictates that you should have already tried it. Oh? What occasion was this? It was a reunion between friends several centuries ago. Alas, you must have been too preoccupied to secure yourself a portion. Or perhaps our other companions simply availed themselves of faster reflexes on that occasion. Ha! Huh, hardly. Twas most certainly out of consideration for the others in attendance. In but a moment, one will show you what it means to have a true deafness of hand. It is settled then. Bamboo shoot soup, mora meat, crab row tofu, triple layered consomme. We shall enjoy the lot. I know that's one right. She's got this. One to Shenhun Ganyu to make a reservation. It is prime time for them to meet one's newest disciple. Is that agreeable to everyone? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> It should be a most splendid occasion. Shu Yu, come now, it is time to dine. Ah, this gentleman over here is Mr. Zhang Li. He is, um... <laughs> Imagine a trying to explain this one. Of Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor. Please to make your acquaintance. This little girl, she's gonna know nice something's up. Too, Mr. Zhang Li. That should be everyone, right? Let's go! Sounds good. Actually, Master, have you ever tried Adeptus' Temptation? I heard it's impossible to stop eating after even just one bite. You know, cause it's super tempting and stuff. Is that true? Hmm, that sounds rather implausible. Although with the right preparation, certain dishes can be too delicious to resist. Huh? Why are you all walking so fast? Hey, wait for Paimon! Hey, hey, wait! A round of applause, everyone. An amazing quest! That was too good. That was too good. Unsigned the what? Uh, what? Here we go, okay. What seems like a book of accounts, a letter can also be found inside. Little you... My dear daughter, by the time you read this, mommy and daddy will have already left to go on a long journey. Your granny may get a little forgetful sometimes, so try to jot down little reminders for her around the house whenever you can. Mommy and daddy are counting on you to take good care of granny while we're gone. You might be wondering why mommy and daddy have to leave. Well, my dear daughter, in this world, everyone's got something that they just have to do. Your mommy and daddy are no different. Did you know daddy was actually awfully sick as a child? How sick, you might ask? Well, even the doctor could barely feel daddy's pulse. It was that weak. But Daddy still managed to grow up. Looking back, there were many times when Daddy thought he might not make it. In the end, though, your Daddy pushed through every time. Pretty amazing if you think about it. Maybe Daddy's just really lucky, or who knows, maybe he has some super powerful adeptus looking out for him. Either way, Daddy has always felt like he's received a lot of love from this world. And you know what? Daddy loves this world right back. They told Daddy that this mission would be super dangerous, but both Mommy and Daddy decided to sign up. You'll have grown up quite a you'll have grown quite a bit taller. The next time mommy and daddy see you again, maybe you'll be so big by then that mommy and daddy won't even recognize you. How about this? Let's use a code. Do you remember? Do you still remember that one phrase that daddy taught you when you were little? Uh, that can be our secret code the next time we see each other again. That way we'll recognize each other no matter what. You remember it, don't you? While the Milliliths... While the Millilith stands guard, evil shall never prevail. Ha, adventurer. Wait, pause. Where else do they say that? Because hear me out, like, oh, not this freak. Hear me out, I knew that. <laughs> do, do, wh does anyone know where we've heard that before? Or have we not ever heard that before? Well, got 
Are they having dinner right now, by the way? Oh no, I guess not. A special looking crane. Hey, Grandma. Oh, it's just, no, does she stay here? Uh, yeah, I'll pull for you, Darcy. The secrets of the mechanical arts are too profound to convey in a few simple words. Oh, but why must the listener grow weary whenever I begin to divulge them? That's a cute picture. Oh, today? I could do it tomorrow. Or do you want her like right now? <clears throat> All right, let me full screen really quick. Um, that was, I think, I think I'm going to say that was probably, oh my God. First of all, you can tell how my makeup got all messed up, um, you know, from my little emotional outburst, if you will. Uh, that I, I, in the past, I would have said Linny's was my favorite. Uh, I think out of all the ones that came out so far, that was the best. But now I really think, I really think it's Sun Yoon. That was amazing. That was the one that moved me. That was the most emotion I felt in a Genshin quest since the Chasm quest. And since the Chasm quest. Oh, and the final part of the Sumeru Archon quest where Nikita is hugging her old self. And, you know, that was. Oh, that was. That was a lot. Linny's I liked. It didn't necessarily make me emotional. I just thought it was, like, excellent. Um this though i have to say this is like the peak i really do anyways i you know what it was if you if we think back to like the the leeway archon quest you know you really think of how um cloud retainer she was so against humans she thought so poorly of them she wanted nothing to do with them she could not wait to leave so she could get away from them as possible but you know once people that she cares about you know like ganyu and shenha and you know um you and I, like, they, they show interest in the human world and in humans, and she wants to be included in that because she cares so much for them, which I think is, like, crazy character development from something that happened essentially in the beginning of the game. This is three years later, you know, that we're getting a improvement on this. Yeah, Shang-Li as well. And, you know, that's crazy because if you think back, she was so different, you know? And, you know, obviously Aspen was joking. We were joking, like, she still thinks she looks down on humans, and she might, you know, which, I mean, she's smarter. So, you know, we have to give her credit, I guess. But regardless, she's still doing that for the people that she cares about just so she can be closer with them. And uh, I just think that's amazing. And also, like, just how she cares so much about them. And she cares so dearly about what they think of her and like how they spend time with her and when they praise her she loves it but she'll never let it show it's like a, she has obviously clearly a lot of pride but for her to like sacrifice the pride for them i think it's just i don't know it's just amazing it's it i i think it's very it's just it's it, it was incredible it was very well written it was emotional that last week with lumine you know she's saying like oh you had a nightmare she's like no i had a great dream it's just sad because it's not true which is so awful you know but it was um that was amazing i'm very i'm very impressed i really think hobbyverse just keeps they they really do they keep stepping it up with the um they really do keep stepping it up with the what do you call it they keep stepping it up with the story quest. They're doing an amazing job. I'm... I'm just... I'm very impressed. They keep... They keep increasing the quality. And they keep reminding me why I like this game so much in the first place. And you know what really drew me to it? And I think this quest was like a perfect example of that. But anyways, to end on that lovely and positive note. Um, my face is still red. So I think it's probably time that I, you know, washed the rest of my makeup off that weren't, you know... That weren't wiped away by my tears and go to bed but thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this uh please make sure to like and subscribe and comment um and check out all my other socials they will be linked uh right down below so check them out if you feel so inclined uh i will see you guys in the next one peace
and 